So they asked me to do a video explaining myself. I figured I would bring you into my kitchen to start this off. Kind of give you a little visual perception on where I've been for the last 14 years and what it is I do as a chef. Uh, it also gave me a great opportunity to uh, cook you guys a dish. I picked uh, an invasive species here. Um, it's not quite the termite that maybe you were hoping for. Those are awfully hard to find up here in Washington. My food distributor had no idea what I was talking about. But uh, fortunately I got a hold of some goats which I know is a very destructive invasive species. Uh, I know Australia is having a severe problem with goats right now, tearing up their forests. Um, I used to own a goat farm with my father in uh, Missouri, and I know that goats eat anything. Everybody knows the old saying, goats eat cans. But what happens is these goats get into the forest and they clear everything out. They eat roots, they eat the bark off trees and anything green. And unfortunately for the native species, there's nothing left for them to, to, to survive on. So either they're forced to leave the area or they stay and starve to death. So I figured a goat would be a good choice, easy, accessible. And uh, what I did with the goat here is I French the rack out here, which means uh, clean all the rib meat off the bone. I seared a couple nice uh, chops for us. I uh, served that with a frisee salad with some beet greens, which are real uh, tanniny, which will accent the flavor of the meat. Because goat meat is kind of a combination of uh, wild deer and lamb. So I used some of the same principles in cooking this as I would lamb or venison. Um, I garnished it with a little mint, and I made a little apricot and cinnamon sauce here, which I think is going to go great with the lamb. 